Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Marisa. This is Wet Pink Contemporary. And usually I do abstract fluid art. I do some resin art. I do paper crafting. I do unboxings and reviews. But today is a very different type of video. Um, basically, this is a lot of personal stuff, uh, my personal journey, if you want to call it that, um, and how it's going to affect my channel, and that is why I am sharing today. Um, of course, this is a totally different setup on my, on my table today, and you can probably guess from the title of the video what it's about, but first of all, I really just wanted to first of all shout out um, my wonderful friend, my wonderful witchy sister Gabby from Gabby's Crafty Witch Life. I reached out to her, you know, behind the scenes and asked her if I should really make this video. She said, yeah, absolutely, you know, um, it's a great idea and all that. So I am here today. So. I just want to thank you, Gabby, for... I'm really nervous, guys, but I just want to thank Gabby for supporting me behind the scenes. It really, really means a lot. So, um, the title of the video is Coming Out of the Broom Closet. So, what does that mean? So, let me introduce myself again. Hi, my name is Marisa, and I am a witch. And, whew! That feels really good to say. Um, I'm nervous. But I am a witch. Um, the last five months, I have been really studying very, very hard and practicing. But I've been studying, and all you witches out there, I absolutely listen to you. I have been studying. I have like over 30 books, as you can see, all of the books here and here. I am really studying hard and I am practicing a little bit, but more studying. And I just want you to know that this is not a witchcraft video, meaning a witchcraft 101 video. I am in no way um, qualified to teach anything. I'm just kind of sharing what I am going through and what I am learning and basically how it's going to impact my channel. So, yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what witchcraft really was. Uh, I was taught different things and, you know, pretty much um, I just wanted to spell any misinformation and any negativity about witchcraft because it's really important to me. And this is a beautiful, beautiful practice that I am learning about. So... Basically, I would be considered an eclectic witch, but I do, um, I am practicing more cottage witchcraft or hearth witchcraft. Um, that is what it's called. It's basically doing witchcraft for the home, the hearth, you know, family and close friends. Basically, you know, I use it to uh, do spells, to protect my home, you know, clean my home, uh, put intention and energy into protecting my home, um, just adding, you know, positive energy. Um, but again, I'm more learning than practicing, but I am, I am a practicing witch. I am. But I do small spells, candle spells, stuff like that. Um, energy work, a lot of energy work, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that is, you know, the hearth witchcraft, which is my, my heart, you know, um, I really enjoy reading and I just, that's all I'm doing is reading and reading and reading. Like I said, I have over 30 books, including audio books, all different aspects of witchcraft and yeah, so um, what I am also practicing and learning about is green witchcraft, which is, you know, you're studying about herbs, um, their magical purposes, uh, but not only that, real scientific and um, medicinal uses for herbs and plants, and I would like to get more into her herbology, 
really learning deeply, uh, really more into that. So that is another aspect of uh, what I am doing, you know, how to use it in your food, how to make uh, oils and tinctures and all kinds of stuff. And I had made some oils. Also, I am learning about kitchen witchcraft as well and how to use, you know, put energy into your food and yeah, making teas and, you know, stuff like that and how to put energy into food. Um, and I think that's wonderful. And a lot of these, all these books were on recommendation from other witches and a lot that I watch here on YouTube. So I am listening to you guys and I'm learning a lot. Okay, so... You know, the next part I wanted to share was that I'm not Wiccan. Wiccan, you know, is a religion in its own right. It is 100% a religion. Um, for me, I didn't want to attach any religion to my craft, my witchcraft. Um, but you can. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. You can absolutely, you could be any religion you want and also add witchcraft to it. Again, I'm not trying to teach. I'm just trying to explain a little bit. Um, but you could definitely uh, practice witchcraft and be any religion. For me, I just want it to be a non-religious experience. Um, yeah, so, you know, why am I sharing this with you guys? I'm going to be honest, for the last, since December, I've been feeling really stagnant in my art making and in, in my creativity um, because I feel like I wasn't sharing 100% of what I'm doing here. Um, this has become a part of my life for the last five months and I really felt like I couldn't share everything because I didn't come out of the broom closet. So I did share a little bit with you guys, you know, certain projects, you know, around Halloween. I guess I felt safer doing that. But after that, and I was really excited. I realized how excited I was around, you know, that time, like October, November. And then December came along and I kind of felt stagnant. And I wasn't being 100% authentic in my art making and what I'm doing here. And I really didn't like that feeling. Um... And, you know, it's very, it's, it's, this is really, you know, hard for me, um, you know, and I'm really nervous, but I just want to be honest and 100% authentic with you guys. You know, historically, I think that many of us know um, that, you know, witches, if they were or were not witches, um, you know, the witch trials and stuff like that. So, you know, historically, witches have been hurt not using, you know, uh, any, you know, YouTube, but, you know, it was considered to be inherently negative. Uh, people were demeaned, people were ridiculed, people will, were killed, okay, just if you were considered a witch, or people thought you were a witch, so that's part of the reason why I'm really nervous, because a lot of people don't understand it, and I didn't understand it myself. I was taught certain things that weren't true about it, and now that I know, um, it is the most beautiful practice I have ever practiced, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. And of course, you know, so let's just go over, you know, what is not witchcraft for me to, to explain what it is. So witchcraft is not inherently negative, um, and it's not devil worship. Um, of course, if you do worship the devil, more power to you. You know, I never judge anyone's beliefs. I don't care what you guys practice out there. If you don't practice anything, I am totally open to every religion. I don't care what anyone practices. You know, I love everyone. I really do. And I accept everyone. So um, if you could be kind in the comments to me, that would be great. But I just, you know, I just felt I really wanted to share. Also, you know, witchcraft is not about Hollywood. Okay? You know, you don't... It's not like Harry Potter. You don't say a couple of words and then you fly on a broom or stuff happens. Witchcraft is really down to earth real stuff 
Um, just for example, so basically it's an assist, it's an assistant. So let's say you wanted to go get a job, you would, you know, you can't just do a spell and magically get a job. You really have to, you know, get a resume and go out there and really um, look for work, you know, and... However, witchcraft can be an assistant where you can add a spell to it. And let's say there's a job you really, really want. And you can, <clears throat> you know, do a spell and really help you get the job you want. But you have to do the work and you have to do mundane things in this world. And so, you know, witchcraft is an assistant to work. So I just wanted to say that this practice when I started it's really the most beautiful practice I'm gonna read something out of that book in a second but this practice is really has made me more connected to myself to nature even though I've always been connected to nature but I have really felt that this is the most beautiful practice I've ever practiced seriously speaking I have never had more clarity in my life. I've never been more grounded. Um, and it's all about energy work. And I'm going to discuss that in a minute. Visualization, centering, um, grounding, and stuff like that. And basically your intention. But I want to read something out of this book. And just explain to you. This is the author's point of view. But I just want to explain from his point of view what this means so i'm just going to read that small paragraph there resonate with me this particular paragraph okay and it'll be really really quick i promise this is a very long video i'm sorry so at its core witchcraft is the practice of magic not the glitterly glittery flame throwing green potions and flying on broomsticks kind of magic but the magic of creating change with will Witchcraft is in fact a craft, something that is made in the same manner that an artist would create art instead of using canvas, paint, brushes, and other mediums. Witches use a variety of sources to manipulate energy with intention. Energy sources are the ingredients in a witch's working and include crystals, colors, herbs, oils, timings, and other artifacts that are needed together into the art of magic. Having said that, um, you know, basically you don't really need anything. You don't need any of this stuff. You literally need yourself, your own energy. It's about your intentions. You don't need any crystals. You don't need any candles, books, nothing. What you need is you. You are the magic inside. So it's directing your energy into objects, into spells. It's about grounding. Visualiz visualization is the most important part of witchcraft, your energy. Um, grounding and uh, centering your energy. But again, I'm not a teacher. I'm just kind of trying to explain a little bit uh, for those who don't know. But there are so many channels that I do watch on YouTube and I want to link them in the description below because they have helped me tremendously. Hearthwitch, Alwyn Oak, Nike the Warrior Witch, I'm going to forget some I know. Oh, Magical Crafting and uh, The Witch's Cookery. Um, those are the main channels. And of course, Gabby from Gabby's Crafty Witch Life, for sure. But those are the big channels I watch to learn things and get book reviews and stuff like that. So how does this pertain to my channel? And we're going to get into that next. And I hope you guys watch this whole thing because that would really mean a lot to me because this is really personal. And I really, really love it. And of course, I misspoke. You do need the books. That's the one thing you really should have. Um... Yeah, so what I would really like to do on my channel is not do all witchy things. So this channel is not going to be 100% witchcraft um, channel now. That's not the case. What I would like to do is have the opportunity and the freedom to kind of do things with, you know, once in a while. 
with a little witchy aspect and because it is does affect my channel um, this is why I really wanted to share it with you guys so <clears throat> like um, you know my last project okay and there's my hand okay my last project um, with the candles you can use these as regular candles but also these can be used as spell candles so you know for those of you who don't like the witchy aspect I get it but I also want to do projects that can cover both like these these like spell candles with color um, correspondences to them different energies each color has a different energy to it like chakras um, but they do have different correspondences and energies attached to them and I want to do projects like that I also and like the project I did do already with crystals and herbs and my wands I want to do projects like that things I've already been doing but I wanted to be more 100% authentic and open to you guys of why I'm doing these things and you know what I'm learning about I just want to share a little bit again this is not me teaching about witchcraft it's just like sharing what I'm learning as I go just kind of like I did already with these different types of art that I actually learned on YouTube as well the resin the fluid art but as an artist, I felt more comfortable sharing because I've been an artist my whole life. Not been a witch my whole life. Um, basically, I'm thinking about changing my channel name. I don't know if it's necessary, but it may. But I've been wanting to change my channel name for a while because it's kind of long. But also, I'm going to work on my about section of my channel. And also, I'm thinking about doing a new trailer. All cause with, you know, basically teaching about and rewriting what I'm learning and I would love to do a new trailer um, also um, that is my personal book of shadows I love this and I want to share this with you guys as well because it's so beautiful I'm going to be working with a new company and I ordered some um, products from them that I want to use in that as well so this is from magical crafting uh, I'm a patreon of hers and this is what she does so she does art she has beautiful beautiful projects so this is kind of what I'm talking about I don't think I'm gonna be doing I don't know if I'm gonna be doing stuff like this exactly I'm gonna do my own thing with painting and resin art just like I have been doing but add some witchy aspects to it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I know I'm all over the place, guys. But this is something I wanted to share with you guys. I want to be totally free and authentic and just be happy in my channel. Um, not that I wasn't, but I just felt a little stagnant, if that makes any sense. And I want don't want to feel that way anymore, you know? So, uh, what I also want to do, this is Tame Wild. It's a witchy subscription box. I did order another subscription box. And I want to share these with you guys. So, basically, they have beautiful products in here. You know, herbs and all kinds of stuff. All beautiful witchy stuff. What I want to do is uh, do um, unboxings. Explain a little bit to you guys what's in the box. And then do an art project with the energy or theme of the box because each of these types of boxes has themes to them so the theme can be um a sabbath or a holiday a witch's holiday like a winter solstice or equinox stuff like that there's certain energies behind it and then i want to do projects that are based off those energies or feelings or something intuitive and um, I did order another subscription. So it's going to be like, I don't know, two to three times a month at the most that I may um, do these types of projects. Not a lot, but and then it may be broken up into two parts. Like maybe if the unboxing is really, really long, I may do one part unboxing and the second part of uh, another video would be the art project. It depends on how long the unboxing is, if that makes sense. So that is what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I'm really excited about this. 
Um, I fully understand if some of you guys are not down for this. I get it. Um, you came here just for art. Um, it is still an art channel. It always we will be an art channel no matter what. That is my heart. My art is my heart, but I do want to feel free to do some of these things as well and add my witchy self to it. I want to be 100% authentic, 100% me, 100% feel free to share myself with you guys. I don't want to hold back. I don't want to feel stagnant in my art. And I really do understand, um, you know, if you don't want to watch some of this type of content, I get it. Um, but I think you would enjoy it. I think that you're going to feel the energy from me shifting. And I think that if you understand a little bit more about what witchcraft is not and what witchcraft is, I think that you would really enjoy this content. I want to do stuff like with astrology and, you know, just wonderful projects. There's so many things, so many ideas I have, and I'm really, really excited about it that I want to share it with you guys. So, you know, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Again, please be kind. That will be amazing. I know I have friends out there that will accept no matter what, but I'm, I just need to be myself. I am, you know, I don't have the time to not be me. Um, if that makes sense to you guys, I want to be myself no matter what. And I want to share it with you. And I think that um, this new direction is going to be exciting and wonderful. And I am fully lit up and excited about it. And I hope that you are too. And if you have any suggestions about channel names, um, again, I want it to be balance between my art and witchcraft it's not all witchcraft and it's, it's basically all art with witchcraft just as a part of it to enhance it and that's hey that's what witchcraft is um i really want to thank you guys and i really hope you've watched this you know video all the way through it would mean a lot to me um, I really appreciate you listening to me. I know I'm really nervous um, because, yeah, I'm just nervous about it. But I really appreciate you watching today and listening to me, uh, being able to express myself fully to you. Thanks again, Gabby, for just being there for me. And thank you, all you guys, for watching today. I love you. I hope you stick around. And guys, this is long enough. I will see you in the next video. And I love you.